What's the first thing you're thinking about? Isn't it remarkable, the color, right? Well, you know, we're kind of at a point since this has never been done before. Nobody really knows what to expect. You know, they, they told me, they said, honestly, we never expected it to make it to the transplant, you know. I mean, they never expected it to work at all. And they told me that from the get-go. But, uh, but just the fact that it's a wild blood flowing through it, I mean, you know, that's that's the first step, you know. And, and that's what I told them. I said, you know, if I, even if I can't see which I didn't have an eye there to begin with, you know, after the accident. You know, maybe at least, you know, y'all can learn something to help the next person. I mean, that's how you got to start it. You know, you got to start it somewhere. So hopefully this opens up a new, a new path. Feel anything? No. That's wonderful. The mere fact that we transplanted an eye is a, is a huge step forward, something that within centuries has been thought about, but it's never been performed. If the possibility of some form of vision restoration occurred, it would be wonderful. But there were significant concerns. The goal was first to perform the technical operation, ideally have it be vascularized, and then whatever happens after that, we'd, we'd have to determine with future studies. Eventually, Aaron, we talked about this, we want to close off completely. And that's not giving you any problem at all? No. You're breathing okay at night and sleeping, no issue? quality of the vascularity from their standpoint is very remarkable. All the elements are there for us to be able to go to the next step. And I don't think anyone can claim that he will see, but by the same token, they can claim that he will not see. If at this point, I think we're, we're pretty happy with the result that we were able to achieve with a very technically demanding operation. And the goal would be just what the next chapter will bring and whether this individual can see or not. I think it's, I think this offers a lot of opportunities to individuals, researchers, scientists that are working on the restoration of sight, that this is kind of the next chapter that we could build on. There's a little something in there. I knew, I've always known that um, smell was connected, but I didn't realize it was oh, like, it lost it's, yeah. I got up, went to work, and woke up six weeks later in Dallas, Texas. I was in Oklahoma, just south of Tulsa. But with that being said, uh, the hardest part was probably right then when I woke up. And we kind of realized what we had laid out in front of us with the rehab and the reconstruction things, you know, and 
was my amputation and I mean just it seemed like a never ending path, you know. She shows her Cobra pride by giving her all in every game. After high school, Allie plans to attend Arkansas Tech. Allie would like to thank her parents. They always have supported her through anything, and they are the greatest examples of loving someone in sickness and in health. I mean, it's just incredible. Everything that it takes to, to get this done. And then the outcome for it to be like this is spectacular. I'm just so impressed. So excited and ready for the next chapter in this journey. <laughs>